Hi. Hello. It's been a long time since we've done a talking video. This is actually a topic that we have been talking about over the last mm -hmm. couple months or so. Yeah. So we wanted to talk about social pressure and life expectations. Basically like expectations from society that you know you're kind of expected to live your life this way at particular stages in your life. Yes. And if it deviates from this kind of structure, it's kind of, a lot of people think it's kind of strange mm -hmm. or unusual. And that's kind of what we wanted to talk about. Your mom mentioned people in her generation, if somebody was unmarried or they chose not to get married, everyone thought they were strange and they were kind of, you know, ostracized and it was really weird, like there's something wrong with them, just because they kind of chose to go down Mm -hmm. A path that you know differs quite a bit from, I guess, the I don't want to say typical, but just the social norm. You know, you you go to school, you graduate, you get a job, you get married, you have kids, you retire. Like that's kind of this social construct that people have. And if someone's life differs a little bit from that yeah. kind of system, I feel like, and and everyone's guilty of this. I feel like people don't really know how to like process it. If it deviates from that idea that we have, that has been like so ingrained in us since we're kids, then it's kind of... I think um, beca because they've seen people living like that, they think that's always the way to live it. Right, yeah. But that's the right way. Yeah, that's yeah, the right, right way and that's the safest way. Right. Obviously, some people just want to try something new, some people right. just want to live somewhere else and try, build a new business, whatever. But uh, I just want to say that's all their choices. It's yeah. not like wrong or if no one ever tries like that kind of new things, then there shouldn't be any new business right, in right. the world. Exactly. And again, we're not saying if your goal in life is to follow this social construct we were talking about, we're not saying, oh, you know, this is boring and this no, is... A... No, 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 we're definitely not saying that kind of thing. If that is what will make you happy in your life, and that is your choice, that's great. But if you happen to be someone who you think, oh, you know, that's really not for me, that's fine too. Like, you can also choose something yeah. else. It's all about choice and basically choosing a path for your life that fits you rather than worrying about pleasing other people and worrying about other people's expectations all the time. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to live with those decisions the most I know many young people are struggling, especially in this generation that, uh, in, as you guys probably know, uh, in Korea, probably like over 80% of high school students go to universities and then right, yeah. after the graduation of university, they, they decide to go to the company. But uh, when I was also um, graduating university, my parents also asked me like, why don't you just go to the company? Mm -hmm. and earn money, save money, have a baby. The life, life they lived. Yeah, the life they lived yeah. because uh, my dad was uh, working in a company and my mom was a house housewife. But I told my dad, what about, dad, what, what if you weren't a businessman? What, a, what if you worked for the government, for example? Would you still recommend me to work mm. for the company or just recommend me to become you know, work for the government or something right. because that might be, in his point of view, that would be the safest life. I mean, I'm not saying like whatever my dad gave me the advice is wrong mm, because right. how he lived, he thinks that's the perfect way to right. live. But um, for me, I just didn't want to take that same path. I just wanted to, I wanted to try something different. Mm -hmm. I just. I don't know, I saw too many other things and just mixed up with other culture and just for mm. me, just staying in one place wasn't good enough. Yeah, that's important I think what you said because I feel like the most important thing that I have to keep reminding myself with this kind of thing is like everyone's definition of happiness is different. And I know like as humans we want people to experience like all the great things that we've experienced and you know Oh, like I've done this and this is so great, you have to do it too, you have to experience this, but I mean sometimes people don't experience things the same way you did and that's just the bottom line. It may be too different from their interests or their personality or 
anything. Yeah. Anything. They perceive differently, so uh, I don't think it's fair for even for parents to uh, force their kids to do the same thing that what they did. Yeah, right. Um, I think they should give more options and find out what the kid really likes to do, mm -hmm. what kind of happiness he desires. Anyway, we've been doing this YouTube for over a year and we got actually a lot of que uh, questions on the comment box. People asking when are you going to have a kid? And this your... is probably our most asked question of, of all the questions we get asked. Yeah. This one pops up. Like we get uh, questions a lot about kids mm -hmm. and like your, your kids will be really cute. Yeah, it's always, you know, oh, when are you having kids? Yeah. I can't wait to see your kids. Your kids will be so cute. I hope I can see your kids soon. And what's interesting to us is that we've never once said that we wanted to have kids or that we are having kids, but because of this kind of social construct, mm -hmm. people assume that we are. Yeah. And actually, we've chosen not to. And like, we're not going to justify it and explain why, but you know, it's just our personal decision mm -hmm. and it's just not for us and we chose not to, but it's questions like that. I know it's unintentional that people kind of assume these things. Yeah. And it, yeah. yeah. Even then the question starts with when. When. Yeah. Most of them are when, not like, oh, are you thinking of having kids or would you like kids someday? But so many of them are when. They're just asking the time. Right, yeah. It's like, uh, when are you graduating? When are you going to get a job? And I think probably that's why the people don't realize it, but that really stresses and yeah. that gives a lot of pressure to like our generation. Right. Some people, like for example, um, students want to graduate and want to get a job. Yes. But it's not the right question to ask, when are you going to get a job? Mm -hmm. Or, Maybe, you know you're 30 or 31 years old, when are you going to get married? How do you know if that person wants to get married? Exactly. Many people these days choose not to get married. Even even my mom's uh, teacher, my, my mom owns the Bakery Academy and she has a teacher and she also, she didn't want to get married and she's very talented and she is very uh, well qualified. She enjoys her time, she always travels. She plays guitar, she meets with people, go to concert, and the way how she lives, she's just fully satisfied. And right. I don't think uh, anyone should judge about that, saying like, think about your parents. And Well, I know probably in Asian countries it's the hardest, it's a difficult topic because mm -hmm. um, yeah. we do have kind of circumstances where children should uh, follow or what parents usually say and we disobey things we feel like it's like a taboo right if you kind of go against their wishes yeah their expectations it's obviously not all of them mm -hmm. some people are more open about it some people don't really mind but uh, if that kind of pressure is held for kids then well the kid is going to live forever with those decisions right. what's going to happen if the kid when he reaches 50 years old and then he thinks like he looks back and what have I done to my life yeah. like this wasn't my life mm -hmm. is he gonna just be sad the rest of his life is he gonna blame his parents like it was their decision mm -hmm. well it's too late I think um, it is really important that to know what you really like and what kind of life you want to live if you don't think that's suitable for you then you should convince your parents. I want to add something on to your mom's friend. Okay. And I feel like especially in her generation when she made that choice not to get married, I can pretty much guess the kinds of things that people would have said to her. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people scolded her, but a lot of people were like, you're going to regret that decision later. You're going to like miss out on this wonderful experience mm -hmm. of marriage. And, you're never gonna have any kids, like poor you. I mean, she gets fulfillment in a different way. Yeah. She feels life fulfillment. She's not empty, she's not deprived of anything. Just because, you know, getting married and having kids made someone else really happy and fulfilled does not necessarily mean it will do so for somebody else. Everyone is so different. Why do people kind of judge each other and say, 
oh, you're gonna regret that, you're gonna miss out on this, because mm -hmm. everyone, this is all relative, no one is gonna experience this the same, no one all has to fit into the same kind of likes and dislikes and life stages to be considered normal, functional people in society who are yeah. worthy. I mean, it would be boring if everyone's... Yeah, sad. yeah, exactly. Anyone who's getting questions like, what are your grades like? What university are you going to? You're getting older, when are you going to get married? You've been married for, you know, a year or two. When are you going to have children? When are you going to give your kid a sibling? Like, these are just... All these same questions are being asked, like, when, 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 because this is what is supposed to come next in your life, mm -hmm. and you're being weird for not doing this. I mean, it's, it's not just as easy as saying ignore it. I feel like everyone goes through this kind of thing, but kind of step back and just kind of feel confident in your decision and what you know is right for you at the end of the day, because if you make your decisions constantly based on what other, other people expect of you, then I think you're going to live quite miserably because you didn't live life the way you wanted to live Yolo. Life. Yeah, please! <laughs> this is not like 2010. Oh, sorry. We're all different. We all get happiness and fulfillment from different things. So I guess at the end of this video, our main message was no one is required or obligated to live a certain life just because society expects it or their relatives expect it or their friends expect it or anyone expects it. It's just all of these things are choices and you have to, you know, choose the ones that are right for you because it's your life and this is, it's going to be all your experience, so. So you were about to answer that yeah. question. <laughs> so again, I know we already said this before, but this kind of social norm, yeah. we're not saying if you choose to live that life or if you've lived it, it's bad or boring. It's not what we're trying to say. Mm -hmm. The whole point of our video is people are entitled to their life choices. Yeah. I wish that we would all be a little less judgmental of people's decisions and their different paths in life and like we have no right to judge really for for us this is what i wanted and say so i wanted to do yeah. to do these things too so yeah. we came up with the conclusion to do these things mm -hmm. i hope whoever watches this video also can make their own choices right, right so i guess that's it that's about it i think we got all that out there <laughs> yes all right we'll see you next week and have a great week bye guys Bye! So anyway, we, uh, today we wanted to talk about life expectancy. <laughs> That's like how, how long you're supposed to live. Oh. <laughs> the life expectancy for like women in Korea is like 83 years old. <laughs> so, um, what we are trying to say is that 